Sunday night. Let's see, what do I need to do? I need to make sure I have my deck. Downloaded because I was just putting it together today. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this one. Oh, come on, TTS. You're making me log in again. <sighs> Yo, there it is. Download the deck. Oh, darn. Open. Where's my save folder? go oh I need to update the stream name we're not doing top four we're doing stupid stuff Pairings are already up. Table 13 versus Iceberg. I've been shit talking him all day, and now I gotta play him first round? Get beat up on by a child? I'll have to uh, see if I can uh, channel my inner call so I can beat a child at Destiny. We'll see. We will see. Working on it, kid. What is this, table 13? Yeah. 
I'm here. Hi, this is my phone audio, so it'll probably be bad, but, well, well I'm nervous. You got you hear people. <laughs> you gotta promote me. Oh, I got, how do I do that? Wait. You click on my click. name, and then hit promote. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, let me actually, like, put in a decker. There you go. I don't know if you're trustworthy enough to be promoted. Alright, what are you playing? That's nice. Hey, let's camera. Fun. Oh boy, self plus. 30 tonight, Mom. Yeah. Try to find. I suppose I can't technically offer you a cut. So. No, it's fine. Uh. Molly 3. See some ramp. Yeah, let's put that back. Oh boy. Let me guess your two villain cards are desperate measures. Of course. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Oh well. This will be fun. Wait, look. Again, dark. Alright, I'm gonna call with him right now. I think he's streaming. Can stream hear me? Yeah, stream can hear you. I stream, sub with Twitch Prime. How do I... Man, see. Solid 5 roll. He can beat that, but it's a solid roll. I hope that worked out right. Let me check. I think... <laughs> Alright, other way around. Good luck, have fun. Yep, all that good all, stuff. All that good stuff. Two. Um. I want shields. This is a weird starting hand. Uh, let's play on yours. I'll take shields. Alright, cool. Thank you. Two dollars. Get the money out. Uh, do you mind if I do the Bendu's activation thing to show that it's been activated? Yeah, that's fine. There's also these if you need it. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. Bendu's action. What is that? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Or the shield, okay. Terrible roll. Activate Where's my reroll? Activate and crazy. Uh, reroll this die. The not, not the money, the blank. I probably should have this explained that. Better than me. Better I have level. a really weird hand. Like, I sent all these back and got them right back. Uh, cheese. Reroll. Oh, come on, Impus. Oh. I mean, I don't have easy pickings in hand, so that's a nice thing for you, I guess. I know, she's like hitting all her worst sides, though. Yeah, I'll get two bucks. <laughs> <sighs> oh, dollar, thank you. Money is good. All right, I see what's going on here. I don't know if I like it, but I see what's going on. Take a dollar. Yeah, yeah it does turn dice. Okay. Hidden mode of that. That one special. No, I missed. That's unfortunate. Um. So you get so you get turn one Shen Mastery. 
I see what's going on here. I don't know if I like it. Mm. Gotta figure out who I want to go first. Uh, let's go after R2. So two to him. Get the Shion. Yep. Dude, so much ramp. Scruffy Kong event. Fist and another. Okay, cool. No removal. Good. Um. Two more. Good. I'll air Falcon. I have five, yeah. Okay. Uh, search up the Falcon. And the SP craft was on the bottom. Cool. Gee, I wonder what I'm ARing. Yeah. Yep. Just cut the other train to reroll. It takes three, that's fine. I right hear. You have fist in hand, right? Yeah, you do. All right. I'd be a little bit careful of that, but... Ooh, value. Do the me. Take one dollar. I'll turn this to the, the three money side. Ten, all right. Two revenues. I'll take a few bucks. I'll immediately play Entourage with that. Digging for Entourage. Not a great start this game. There you can see it. Um. I'll activate Entourage. Um, disattach. Activate Escape Craft. I'll disrupt you too. That's a good one. I mean, I'm fine if I can still get into my reaps. Um, take a dollar. Heal two from R2. And give a shield to him. Yeah. And then also take two shields. Cool. Reattach, then pass. Uh, four. You're up. Um. Actually, Falcon, make you desperate measures it. <laughs> I don't have it. Oh, wait, no, your cards are fist. Duh. Oh, I'm stupid. All right, cool. Uh... <sighs> um... Fist is in the hand. Um, what else costs five in the game? Do you run double fist or do you run fist death field? Do you like this snag? Um, I don't have to. Uh... I'll take three from hand. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Is that both fists or is that the one? Oh, that's the one. one. Yeah, that's all right, one. cool. Um, Play the other. Yeah, that's not that bad for now. I'll activate the entourage. Hey, oh, look at all those red sides. Everybody's favorite. Uh, 
I'll re-roll the escape crap die. That gets rid of. That deals two and it gets rid of. Oh wait, take the specials. Four indirect. Yeah. One, two, three, four. That's fine. All right. You have force jump and Enfys nest still in the pool. Uh, focus to the what side is the two money number four. Oh, oh. nice. Take a dollar. She'll disattach. R2 activation as well. <laughs> Clean, activate. Focus to the C3PO money, I think. There no. This is the C3PO money. There you go. Snag another buck. Entourage number two. I'll dig for, um, I think I dig for, yeah, I dig for hired here. So, hired muscle. Reattach. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Activate. It's unfortunate. I'll take two bucks. One, two. I'll then play the hired muscle. Back to here. I'll activate R2D2. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I'm smart, I swear. Uh, focus there. Deal two indirect damage to you. Pay one and throw five into Aelos Sakura. And then I'll discard that and say go. One, two, three, four. Two points off the top. Um. I'll pick the two melees. That's fine. Activate Falcon. Oop, sorry. And then one damage to R2 off of fluid. Okay. Sounds good. That's right here. Aww. There. You've only hit me with two easy pickings this game. This is Dutch. Dude, I'm playing here. What do you expect? I got all the removal. I'm sorry. Did you take your action when you remove space? Or I just back? attached, yeah. Uh, My spaceship decided to fly somewhere else. <gasps> the freighter. So Bulba always wins. Oh, no. Oh, no, please. If only... Please, no. <laughs> no. Let's get my money back. I'll activate the... Yeah, I'll activate the entourage. Go in. Oh, 
Right here. Oh. I'll take three bucks. One, two, three dollars. Here. Two shields. Are okay. Uh, two indirect. One. Two. All right. I'll play another hard muscle over here. It's a distant gang. I'll automate defense the uh the the special. My emphasis is killing me. Ah, uh, see. I am so dead is the main bullet point of what's going on here. I do four damage. Can R2 take two? Yes, he can. Activate here. Yay. Good shot. Uh... I'll do it to uh, Satine. How much damage is that? Four? Yep, four. Right, two health left on here. Very cool. No cards in hand? Nope. Alright, cool. I'll activate here. Activate here. Um, okay. So, three things to flip. Flip number one, what side is the three melee? Two. Flip number two to the special. Yeah, Flip no, number yeah. Three this game's been quite rough. Three melee. Reattach. Activate R2. Uh, flip nothing. How much health does she have left? Six? Six. I'll kill her. Thing two. And then I'll throw five into Enfist Nest, spotting. Actually, no, I'll throw uh, six into Enfist Nest, spotting four scoundrels. Reattach, and start it back up. <laughs> Second fist is not wanting to come out and do me any favors. Um, oh, no, but usually I kill. Okay, cool. I did here. Was spot a blue character. It's, Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not that familiar with the stuff. Me neither. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a take back and uh hidden motive instead. Calling guns or Yeah, guns. Alright, cool. Indirect. Oh got exactly what you wanted. I'll deal five indirect to you. Second easy pickings. Uh... Oh, that's good. Um, flee the scene. Get rid of the two emphasis nest dice. Um, uh, you pass. Pass. Um, 
Hey, fist, look at that. Oh boy. No. Dan Dork, this is my favorite Star Wars scene. One R2-D2, Satine, C-3PO, and a bunch of scoundrels fly in the Millennium Falcon and fight off Vader's fists, Emphis Ness, and Ayla Sakura. It is rather epic. It is a rather epic space odyssey. Uh, activate R2. Of course you'd have it. Uh, that's a bigger number. Um, uh, guns? Indirect. No! Ah, uh, it's too discard. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Wait, I haven't activated this a team. I'm sorry. No, you're right. Don't hit me. <sighs> Alright. 50-50! What else? I have my easy pickings, this doesn't matter. Goodbye, Blinks. And I'll blow you up for four. GG. GG. Now, my uh, early Emphis did me no favors. I, if, I didn't resolve one of my Emphis dice in the first two rounds, and that kills you. <laughs> Badly. Yeah. Because I just kept hitting blank. Mm -hmm. And losing my fist to discard. I think if I could have got the yeah. fist out that turn, which I could have if I didn't have to pitch it. But when you hit that yeah. discard side, I was like, well, I can't do anything about it, and he knows I have the fist now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's my, it's almost gonna happen, but if it doesn't, great. But how do I report? Uh, just go put it in the Discord channel that you won over me. Yeah, those are some rough rolls. Uh, I mean, my deck's way less meta than his, so his isn't top meta. It is previous meta. Uh, but yeah, no, like, I was kind of doing what I wanted to do. Uh, but, yeah, just the rolls weren't quite good enough early on, and he was, uh, he was just building up way, way too fast. Um, and there wasn't much I could do about that. Uh you know, at least with the way he was building up, other than, you know, start chopping down characters, but with Emphis not pulling her weight and then losing my fist to the discard. Um, and that, that's basically, like, the main gimmick of this thing. I'm trying to do, like, uh, you know, she and shenanigans on Ayla, because she's kind of off target until you build her up. Um, sadly, like, it, he, you know, his deck, you know, such a slow burn deck to build up, like, he didn't have to overcommit to... Uh, uh, trying to kill Emphis, which a lot of players will. Um, so he could obviously see it was the first target uh, before, you know, before before he committed anything to Emphis first, which goes counter to my ideal strategy. But, uh, no, it was fun. Yeah, picking pickings always hurts. Um, I only got to rep repay the favor once, and it was way less impactful uh, the point that I got it down. Um <laughs> But yeah, that that's slowed. In in addition to missing on two Emphis dice, getting picked twice, kept me on the back foot. But like, I, I still think I was like getting that fist down in round two away from maybe pulling that game out, because uh, I just had his character so close um, that if I had enough uh, pressure to actually finish off a character in round two. That's what you need to do. Um, but yeah, no, I built this deck today. I, I had tried this deck the last meta uh, with Ayla, Emphis, and Fist, and it's decent. It's a decent deck. Um, I did like the idea of getting to run the Sheehan stuff uh, that gives uh, Ayla some really powerful stuff to chain into. Um, 
we didn't really have that with the previous metas because like yeah things like Suresu specials and Neiman Mastery specials are kind of funny uh, in like fixing your dice, but like they don't they don't have a lot enough board oomph impact uh, to get there. So I like that's like the you know the Sheen Mastery comes down and it like gives you a chain of like hey this character is gonna like you know do my Ayla die to fix my uh, Sheen and then blink one of your dice and then actually I don't even need to blink the die I think if I if I remember right. Yeah, so you can actually Ayla their die into a damage side if you want to follow it up with uh, the Sheehan Mastery to do two damage and remove it, which is kind of a fun little combo. Um, yeah, and then getting to use Emphis with Reap. Reap's a new card that's fun with her because you can, uh, you know, she's she's one of the characters with the two resource sides, essentially, so you can Reap her to the two resource side and use her power action to get two money, which helps you you know, power out those expensive, like, fists and shins. Um, I probably need to have a few more actually impactful die cards, because I'm running, like, the two trainings and the two masteries, uh, and then I'm running uh, two Jedi holocrons and two force jumps. Force jumps is just kind of too good to not run, especially with Ayla. Uh, the holocrons there just to go dig out stuff, and I've always kind of wanted to play with Holocron, see what it can do. So I have enough abilities, blue abilities in this deck that I think it's fun to, to pop off the Holocron, not only for letting you play a blue ability, but just drawing those extra cards. It's, it's an interesting card. And and you can uh, Ayla Chain into the special on the Holocron, and it's got two resource sides and a focus side, so there, there's a lot of stuff that I kind of like about it and been wanting to play with it, but couldn't find a deck where it felt okay in but i think it feels okay in this deck um yeah and i have lots of removal in this deck um which probably helped me live a little bit longer under his onslaught but uh you know did not quite get me far enough um yeah droids con and droids yeah those droids are hard um we'll see what i face in the loser bracket as it goes All right, my drink tonight is Angel's Envy, which I think I kind of previewed last night, if you're paying attention, that I was going to be doing Angel's Envy tonight. It's from the Cellars of Link. God, I can't even read his signature. Le Lincoln Hank something. <laughs> uh, Lincoln Henderson, I think it's supposed to be. Uh, but anyway, Angel's Envy, Angel's Envy is a really good bourbon. Um, way better than I thought, uh, it would be. I was kind of turned off by, like, the weird shaped bottle with, like, the angel wings on the back, that it would be, like, a little bit too, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, like, gimmicky, but it's actually really good, and it has one of my favorite finishes with bourbon, uh, is that they, they finish it in port wine barrels, which, port wine's a really sweet dessert, uh, dessert wine, uh, from Portugal? I don't remember the country. I think it's Portugal. Um, yeah, I hope. I wish they would see this. Give me some stuff. Uh, but anyway, port wine's a really sweet red wine. It's fortified, uh, and it really complements the sweet notes in the bourbon. Um, and I've tried a few different uh, bourbons and whiskeys that are aged in port wine barrels, and I don't know. They've all been really good, and this is no exception uh, to that. Um, so if you have a chance to pick up Angel Envy with the port wine finish. Highly recommended. I think it was in the $35, $40 bottle range, somewhere in there. So it's, you know, kind of right in that sweet spot. And it'd be a great addition to your bourbon shelf, which I'm sure you guys all have bourbon shelves, because why wouldn't you? Um, yeah, so it, it actually inspired me. I got my own for my birthday. It was just a, about a, you know, a couple weeks ago now. My sister got me a miniature oak cask. Uh, that you can use to age and finish your own cocktail spirits, whatever you want. Uh, and I was inspired by uh, these port finished bourbons that I like to try to uh, port finish one of my own bourbons or, you know, do it myself. So I've got a oak cask in my pantry filled up with port right now. Going to age for about a month. And then I'm going to... I haven't tried Basil Hayden, Hayden's Rye as port finish, but I would be happy to. Um, I know I tried like a Crater Lake one that was port finished, but 
yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. I don't know what what bourbon I'm gonna put in it yet, but I have a cask seasoning right now in my pantry with port wine that here in about a month I'm gonna empty out and fill it up with some bourbon and age some some bourbon and give it my own port finishes. I, I I have yet to decide on what bourbon I want to try adding a port finish to, but I'm gonna try it and it should come out with some delicious results. I think so. Um. My one, my one uh, caution I would, if you do get a port finished bourbon, they're not very good in old fashions because the flavor profile is just different enough. I mean, I guess it's okay, but it, it's not a regular old fashioned. Um, unlike some, you can find some bourbons that are aged in rum barrels, which I think just enhances if, if you put them in an old fashioned because uh, you get that, like, you know, rum sweetness is a little bit different than the, the, the port sweetness is more of, you know, it gets that, like, red wine, musty, tannin sweetness. It's not, like, the same as rum sweetness that you get from, from barrel-aged uh, bourbons, which my favorite rum barrel-aged bur- rum barrel bourbon from last year was Blood Oath. If you find a bottle of 2019 Blood Oath, it's really good. Uh, Blood Oath is a brand, though, that they change up their bourbon every single year. So, like, the 2018 one, they aged in rum barrels, and I think, like, or the 2019 one, they aged in rum barrels, and then the 2020 one is going to be something completely different. So, you got to go find the 2019 one if you want to try it. I did not win. I got beat by Iceberg, uh, Michael, Michael Berg, or, yeah, he's, he's, you, if you've gotten any of the big events he's around, he's one of their younger players, I think he's only 15, but he was playing droids, beat my ass, I couldn't channel my inner call, call ever watches or gets a hold of this, I could not channel my inner call and win versus a 15 year old child, but it is what it is, <laughs> No, he's actually really good, though. Like, he may be young, but he's put a lot of time into Destiny, and he day two at Worlds, and he's actually really decent. So, it's definitely no, uh, no, you know, pushover match, that's for sure, so. And we had no disconnect. We got through a whole game in, like, 20 minutes. Nobody got disconnected. No one's internet went down. Like... I didn't have to step in for my opponent and, like, help move their stuff. Like, that was the biggest miracle of it all. Um, <laughs> anybody wants to go rewatch that on Twitch from last night, if you're real bored. It is funny. You can just hear me talk for a while, but... Whew. Yeah, it was an interesting stream. Um, yeah, no faxes. Yeah, not today. Not running tournaments by faxes or snail mail. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but yeah, I threw I threw this Ayla and Fist deck together literally like you know twenty minutes before the before the tournament. So we'll see how it goes. I don't have super high hopes, but I like to play something different and fun every week, and I'm not reaching for the tier one decks. So it's good times. time we got left in this round. It's got to be getting close, like seven minutes. <sighs> uh, shout out for Saturday night. I should be streaming a uh, invitational match, I believe, from the uh, Artificery TTS Invitational, and it is Eric Wainwright versus Lanza. So, Eric, I'm going to stream another Eric game. So, if you want to hang out for, like, five hours Saturday night and see if we can finish one game, uh, be my guest. Oh, hey, Kenton. Yeah, you missed a game, but we'll be starting a new one here in a few minutes. I'll be playing playing all night, at least next two to three hours, doing the Entourage Gaming Thursday night tournament that they do every night. Uh, I've been doing this every Thursday, I think, since mid March now. I don't even I don't even know how many of these I've done, but it's been a while. Uh, putting putting Lanza's kids through college, five dollars at a time. Wild Horizons news. I wish I had Wild Horizons news. I got there's been nothing. Nothing official from Wild Horizons is out. Uh, I tried to beg Matt and be like, why can't 
can't you guys like in quarantine like do a preview article or something and just got dead dead silence uh so yeah i don't know i wish we had something to share i mean i, I could share stuff but i'd break nda and get sued and all that fun stuff oh you guys fed the beaver up in canada for the ca canadian internet filled him up on the maple syrup Yeah, just ping Matt Holland on Facebook be like, let me spoil something on my stream. Well, I guess FFG is probably not too happy about me doing a TTS stream. They didn't like me before. They especially don't like me now, or at least people higher up that, you know, look at this stuff. Um, Doesn't matter though, they can't untake my name out of the game credits. <laughs> Hashtag FFG shade, throwing it. Yeah, I know we don't have any Wild Horizons news, but if anybody's been paying attention to the continuation committee for Destiny, uh, I want to say, uh, yeah, it was on May the 4th, Be With You. They released a article through their site. Uh, it's on the uh, Renewed Hope Destiny... Uh, what, what's the... Yeah, it says swdrenewedhope.com. Um that's the, the home base website for the continuation committee, which I am tangentially involved in. I will be helping them with a lot of rules editing and things whatnot, kind of maintaining my role. Uh, but they did release uh, an article kind of giving a preview of stuff that they're working on for their first player-created set, and it's good stuff. Uh, I think they're doing a lot of good work. Um, you know, so if, if Wild Horizons doesn't happen, like, we'll be, we'll be getting some new stuff eventually into this uh you know into this game you know if we have to do it ourselves that'll be fun um yeah i mean yeah i need to get some noah's mill to spill some beans <laughs> need i need to get immunity please don't sue to spill the beans i don't have money to fight off a lawsuit from ffg and the mouse <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, ho I hope the post FFG scene can be successful. Like real talk, I'm I'm not you know getting my hopes up. Like this kind of endeavor is like super, you know, super hard to make successful. People just you know turn their turn their eye to something else real quick uh, when a game stops being you know supported through official channels. But uh, we'll give it the we'll give it the old college try. You know, we got we got some good people working on card designs. You got me editing it, helping with rules and helping with balance and whatnot. So, like, there's there's some con continuity there with me uh, helping out with that stuff. At least the voice will feel the same, I think. Um, and then hopefully we just have good ideas and good balance and whatnot. Um, no, no official word on worlds. Like FFG is still sitting on everybody's money that they collected and we're two weeks past when worlds was supposed to be and have not heard a word not heard if they're going to do refunds if they're rescheduling absolutely not yeah i don't i still can't like i don't have any behind the scenes idea of like what what happened or you know what what the actual like closed door thing is between destiny i'm not privy to any of that not like me or anybody in design or even OP probably would be like that's a much higher up decision like in the company for that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, no no idea, no idea the reason behind it. Like I can speculate that dice manufacturing was just a pain in the ass, um, and I think that contributed to a lot of it. Um, it's expensive to make the dice and stuff and whatnot compared to like a more traditional card game or even like mini minis games are so cheap to make like legion and 
Crisis Protocol, though that's a sister company at this point, but <laughs> minis games, like, there's infinite number of, I wouldn't say infinite, but like, you know, a plethora of, of competition in the plastic mold fab area um, for just, you know, making, you know, plastic sprue molds, because that kind of stuff's used not only for, like, you know, miniature gaming, but parts and what like you know that that stuff's cheap to do like hu they get huge margin on that stuff but like when you're in the realm of custom dice manufacturing that's a little out of the norm and then when you're in the realm of the dice that they made like the dice sides on destiny they aren't just printed on like people would be like oh they just print now if it was a printed on image it would scrape off too easy like where would do it they actually emboss the image into the die side which gives it the durability that you really need so it's not a simple process, uh, not as simple as just, like, printing on a die side. Like, it's it's a lot more involved in that. And that's why you, like, see weird, like, pressing things, like, if you've looked at some, like, misprinted dice. Um, you know, so on one hand, like, those nice dice definitely contributed to the success of the game, um, you know, and they're very premium. Uh, but yeah, on the other side, I can see the, the cost per unit making their profit margins on Destiny not great. Plus, I think, you know, a lot of the delays that they ran into were... And, uh, no Speculation, I've got no idea, but I have a feeling a lot of it was just on dice manufacturing and dice manufacturing issues, and eventually they just had, a, had enough of it. Um, I mean, on the bright side... I don't know if it's the bright side because FFG still has a contract, but maybe they will go the route of like another L LCG or just another card only Star Wars game. Uh, I think there's a want in that market if they haven't scared away enough fans uh, from how they've treated some of their other properties. Um, but I don't know, it's hard to say. Doesn't it doesn't really seem like they've lost it. Like you know, some people are speculating. Oh, they lost a Star Wars license. I don't. I don't think they've lost a Star Wars license. Uh, you know, they've they've been putting out like a whole calendar of product releases for X Wing and Legion. Um, it definitely does not seem to be the case. I mean, it could be a surprise, but seems like the license is fine for Star Wars. Um, But yeah, who knows? <clears throat> well, I'll find out. And yeah, like I've told people, like I'm people, like ah, oh, boycott FFG. I'm like, if if FFG announced a new Star Wars card game or LCG out tomorrow, like ninety percent of probably the players on the Destiny forums will, will jump on and play it. And you'll keep, you'll, they'll all keep bitching about like product delays and all that kind of shit. But we're all suckers for Star Wars. We'll be in there. Um, rotation announcement about the Empire? I, I'm not sure what that's talking about. Maybe I missed something in the news cycle. Yeah, and I mean, just because, yeah, they, they have a lot of Star uh, Wars products, at least in, in, in the shoot, from what they've confirmed. Um... So I definitely don't see that being an issue going forward. I don't know. It's just always kind of been FFG's MO, too. They, they move on from games. So it's not like they did anything weird with Destiny compared to what they've done with a lot of their other games. You know, they kind of stuck, stuck to their plan. Um, <laughs> yeah, but their plan's always release hot new game, release a bunch of stuff for it. Hype dies down, make a new thing. Yeah. And yeah, maybe 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 the, the bridge is on fire, but if you own these IPs, like not like anybody else is competing in the IP sector. And really I don't care to go play like Hearthstone or God, I don't care to play Magic. I don't want to go into those games. Like, they just do not appeal to me in the slightest. Um, and it's coming from someone that's played a lot of Magic and a lot of Hearthstone and a, lo a lot of other big games on the market. Yeah, that, d that didn't help. Like, early on, Destiny was a huge hit. They had product issues. 
Um, they screwed over a bunch of retailers, even our local retailer hit with like Awakenings reprint because, <laughs> and they're trying, like, I don't know, it was one of those things, at least how it happened in my store, and this is basically the same story over and over again, is like, uh, you know, stores couldn't get Awakening, so they would basically, you know, go to their distributor and be like, just put me down for like 40 boxes and keep it as an open order. Uh, and, and just, just keep bringing me product and they would have product like trickling in to be like 10 boxes you know your you know a couple cases couple cases never quite getting that whole order and they just leave that standing order of like 40 boxes week after week and then <laughs> eventually uh supply caught up and they still had these standing orders and like every store in the country just got you know <laughs> 50 to 100 boxes you know, just a huge mass store of, like, Awakenings. Um, so, yeah, everybody was just sitting on just, like, excess cases of Awakenings. And that left kind of a bad taste, at least in a lot of stores' mouth. It, like, hit both ways because, like, the delays in product early on chased off players because they couldn't even actually buy product. And then there's the giant influx of cards that all the stores all of a sudden got stuck with because they had these open orders for a product they could never get. And they wanted on the shelves that were too huge. <laughs> left them holding on to a bunch of boxes. But that was really only that first set, though, because it really didn't end up being too bad. I mean, there were still shortages of Spirit of Rebellion, but, like, nobody over-ordered. And then Empire at War was almost flawless. Uh, Legacies, while having the weird, like, it released in the UK, like, in December, and then the US in kind of January, but officially February, but everybody had their product, like, middle of January. Um... But, like, quantity-wise, once they hit the release date, like, Legacies was fine. Way of the Force was delayed <laughs> uh, too too much into July. That was one of our first big delays. Once it came out, though, product, you know, supplies were fine. Cross the Galaxies went on time. Product was fine. Yeah. And then we had Convergence was okay. Product and mouse were fine there. And then... <laughs> uh, we had convert. What convergence was a little late, and then like it almost followed right behind it with Spirit of Hope, and then we had like no set until covert missions, and then we all went into quarantine. Yeah, I would say FFG doesn't really know how to handle a CCG, and surprisingly blind to just looking at how other CCGs have done it and trying to copy the other model. It's like, you know, you have some very clear, like, you know, magic, uh, Pokemon, you know, big card games that have, that have figured out ways to do it. Why don't you just try to copy their market strategy? Do the same thing. Uh, committee. Yeah. Co the committee's plan with, is to make new dice sides. They did not want to be restrained to like trying to fix a, the existing dice so like the plan is you can use a d6 for new die cards or we're they're going to have we're going to have people mock up the uh die stickers so people can print them hey how's it going do you have a room up i do it's called gandor all right be right there I know, and we have a Discord for the new, uh, for the Players Committee, and we've had people there arguing about, like, should you make, uh, you know, should, should you just try to, like, reuse existing dice, you know, but it's just so restricting if you're trying to design, like, new fun stuff, like, it eliminates, like, you can never make a new die side, um, some old dice just kind of suck, and they're not good for reuse, and those are the ones you want to reuse, or, like, the old ones that, you know, Nobody has any use for, but yeah, I think the die sticker route will actually work okay. And I mean, TTS won't even be any different. Like, we'll be able to get this working just like any old set. Oh, let me just copy his.
Alright, let's jump into a new gameo. <sighs> Come on, quit drawing all of my shit in the opening hand. Um, weird piloting shits. It's like, do I keep the Sheen to try to go into the Sheen? I mean, I want more ramp card. Like, that's really the trick here. Give me the ramps and give me the Jedi Holocrons. Let's ramp into that crap. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, one. I got. What was that five? Yeah, we'll go with your battlefield. All right. I'm intrigued. Well, we'll see what happens. Obviously, I'm zero and one, so it can't be that great. Well. So am I. I'm gonna play Merchant Freighter. Seems good. <laughs> and I will activate Poe. And he will pilot Merchant Freighter. Easy pickings. Alright. I'm gonna play flanked by a wingman. Yep. Activate one of your characters to give it two shields. See if I spot two pilots. And then she's gonna pilot the merchant freighter. Get a dollar. I will do one damage to, uh, let's do it to Ayla. Well, hot damn. I like money. Yeah, starting to get that impression. I'll take a shield. I'm gonna pass. Then ambush. Get too money. Uh, I'm gonna pass. I'll pass. And I'll pass again. Do that first. Okay, I'll pass. I get it. She's mitigation. Yeah. She's hopefully a lot of mitigation, but yeah. Um, I'll claim. I'm gonna ditch and entangle. Sure. This game is going much better. Alright. Got my money, got my fist. Watch I'm it. gonna play a Hailfire Droid. Four. And I wanna make sure I do this correctly. So it does an indirect damage just by being played. Yep. And I get to activate it instantly. Yep. Okay. Uh... 
going to activate Sabine and activate this merchant freighter at the same time. So Sabine is piloting the merchant freighter. Uh-huh. Is there a proper way to do this? Do I like... I usually put it next to, or like some people have made like tokens. I don't have any, like some people do have them on TTS, so I don't have any on me though. But I usually just try to keep them like next to the characters. Gotcha. (laughs) You can use the draw tool to put a line. (laughs) I don't know how easy those aren't super easy. I guess you can erase them all with one button. Anyway, let's I'll, I'll just <laughs> I don't have any upgrades in this deck, so I'll just play it like they're upgrades. Sure. Uh yeah, we can probably keep track. Uh let's see. Oh yeah, my action. What am I doing? Uh that does not have a blank, so can't jump it. <laughs> um I'm going to play Cloud Car. For free. Yep. Uh, shoot. Well, I'm going to easy pickings that. Yeah, that's what. I was like, oh wait, he probably is going to pick Kings this. I'm going to roll out Cloud Car. Um. Oh, I played Cloud Car, so uh, that doesn't indirect. Oh, you're right. I'll take it on Enfys. Uh, did she have two shields? Uh, she did. I put both shields starting on Ayla, and then gave her a bunch of shields last turn, or gave her a couple. More. Yeah, Ayla's been the only one that's had shields. <laughs> uh, th- Sorry. Okay. I, I gave her, I, I get it now. I gave her a shield instead of taking a damage because I'm Okay, silly. I just wanted to make sure I I, I, I missed it, so it's just... It's like I clicked the button. Track. I clicked the plus button. That's what you get, right? Um, two damage, Poe. Hmm. That's a lot of shields. I kind of hate that. I don't want them. Trust me, I want to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to roll out Poe, and he's going to pilot the cloud car. Uh huh. And... Blanket. Yours. All right. I'm going to discard an R2 and reroll all of these dice. Damn. Um, two gun sides, two gun sides, uh, one gun side. Uh, Pose guns, saying guns. All right. <sighs> I will make you discard. I'm gonna power action uh, Poe on the cloud car to do four damage, and I'll do it to Infus. Um, remove one of mine, sir. (laughs) 
Um, or move that one. I'll shoot Infus Nest. I'll go. take two money. Uh, three of Poe. He's probably going to eject. I'm going to eject. And I could have split it, but like, I'm going to have to fight through and that eject discard this regardless. Card. So... And it what? It heals me too. And gives two shields. Two shields and two health. And it is ambush. So I will use that ambush to claim. Uh, and then yeah, I pass after I get the money. All right. Okay, I'm going to play Ghost, and that is Ambush, cost three, and in playing Ghost, I get to activate a Spectre, a Spectre. so I'm going to activate Sabine, and I'm going to pilot Ghost with that Spectre, but I still have Ambush. Oh, that's so good. Uh... And I'm going to activate Poe to pilot the ghost as well. They can share. Yep. Uh, oh, also I do an indirect, because I played the vehicle. Yep. Uh, shoot. I can repulse. Ghost and hers but that doesn't help a ton uh thinking uh saves three guaranteed though uh hidden mode of the ghost and ranged i'll take the money and i get a shield for each of these Okay, I'll do two damage to Infus Nest. It's about to happen. I can feel it. <laughs> I'll play Black One, and that does an indirect. I'll roll out hail for hail fire droid. I will roll out black one. Uh interesting. I'm going to power action black one. Move it to a two side. Oop. Uh oh. I don't think
don't think any of them changed sides. They just kind of shifted. Okay. okay. Um. I was wrong. That was definitely a blank. <laughs> it was blank. Money, money, blank, blank. I had no worries. I'm on a power action pot to resolve this die for three. Shoot an infus nest. Wait a second. There it goes. Hmm? Yeah, sorry. Um... I'm going to discard uh, black one to reroll. I'm going to discard refit to reroll. Is that two and a one? Uh, four into Pope. I will do one into Infus Nest. I'll do two indirect. Three into Pope. And I'll take money. And I'm going to claim. Three. I'm going to pitch to reroll. Uh, so that's two, three, or no, there we go. So that's five to Poe, three and two. Don't have a sheen in my discard pile, but I thought I'd double check. Uh, then I'll reroll this fourth jump. I get the shield and then pass. How'd you reroll? Oh, the the fourth jump special. Um, you can resolve it if it's on the special. You can resolve it to keep rerolling it until it's not on special. Because uh, the second part of the ability isn't a then. It's not a then. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's not contingent. Yeah. So I can just keep re-rolling it until it hits a blank or a shield, basically. Okay. Where's my shield mastery? Uh, ghost is not here, but I am going to play flanked by wingman. Seems Give solid. Give Poe two shields. And he's going to pilot Ghost. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Um, Imagine yeah, moving the, both of those. Yeah, the damage can go. I got past twice. Right. I'm gonna. Ooh. I'm gonna activate Sabine, and she's gonna fly the Hellfire Droid. Nice one pass. <laughs> uh, exactly what he needed. I will do five damage to Ayla. And my second pass. And I am going to...
pass. All right, so round ends. Um. If I lose, it's because I messed that up. <laughs> uh, it seemed fine to me. Like, you rolled good enough to get advantage out of that. So, well, I think you did fine. I'm going to pitch uh, Merchant Freighter and Joint Maneuver. Okay. I'm going to activate Poe and roll out Ghost. Um... I just gotta get the mitt out. Ayla's got 10 health. Yeah. Alright, I'm a power action Poe. Oh, yeah, Resolve this for that. 4 damage. Couldn't have done and anything about shield. that anyway. And that takes a damage. Yeah, I don't didn't have a play around that, no matter what. Um, oh, come on. Literally 50% damage. Uh, Sabine's going to pilot the Hailfire. Um, I'm going to play Refit to play Hailfire Droid, which does two damage. And I get to activate it. And it takes the damage. Um... Oh yeah. Just make sure that th those were activated. <laughs> um, so that's a real question. I could take my pacify shield. Man, those uh, those droid tanks are kind of crazy. If you can get them out, then I do three damage to Infusness. Yeah, GG. GG. Like this hellfire droid the, the actual die didn't roll that much but just with vehicles played it did what three yeah, damage four I was damage? on tilt there I, I should have mitigated I could have not died but I was basically up against it anyway um which I guess is not much for paying four costs for it oh yeah they were doing work uh, I don't know this deck needs work but it, it's way too slow. Were you going Entourage with this deck? No, no, just Fist for the, the supports and then the Sheehan's stuff. So it was like a special synergy deck. Yeah, I, I, got, I didn't get these till way late, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Why Infest Ness? Just for the uh, the Vader's Fist? Yeah, just, just for the memes. <laughs> okay. No, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I had ran this deck last meta a little bit, and it, it, it was fun. Getting Vader Fist in the in the hero deck, getting run Vader's Fist in easy pickings in the same deck is kind of funny. Ayla's kind of scary. Yeah, like the just the ability to keep turning enemy dice over and over and over again. Yeah, if I wasn't just like one damage off of killing Poe that one round, I would have felt a whole lot better if he would have just died <laughs> heading into the rest of the game. <laughs> but yeah, then God, yeah, that that God roll last round where you got like the two two and the plus three. Yeah. I was kind of just up against it, and then things went downhill. I think you're right. I think this deck does have a little bit of uh, reliance on rolls. Just a, a little too much. And my Emphis has been just letting me down all day. Like, what is this? Like, your die is 50% damage sides. Come on. 
She's been letting me down two games tonight. Is not hitting, like, the damage sides constantly. She had, like, one good turn and, like, two bad rounds in this game. The, the turn she rolled well, I just easy picking it. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I The last game I played against easy pickings, too, and he was easy picking the crap out of me. I guess my tale of tonight is I've been losing a lot to easy pickings, so that's cool. But I guess you can't complain when you're also playing easy pickings. <laughs> I was like, I, I know it didn't make sense, but I was really hoping you weren't running desperate measures. And it's like, doesn't make sense for you to take it, but <laughs> I should have been. I've played two vehicle decks in a row, just mocking me that I'm running fist instead of desperate measures. <laughs> I didn't actually uh, pull it out of my deck, but the, the whole point of this deck is the sneak attack. You can sneak attack out a ghost, and then you can pilot it, and then you can resolve it all within like the same turn. Yeah, that's fun. I did it last game at one time, but the problem is it didn't land on a damage side, so I couldn't use Poe's power action. Yeah, fifty percent not damage sides, and then the the, the chances of her. And then there's the the cloud car <laughs> eject. Getting picked when yeah, like no two car sides in the same is like even slimmer. I basically had to hit a one in thirty six that one I'm round. Surprised at how how much hit shielding threes, was done this game, and then let it have him have the. I easy got both of my uh, not joint maneuver flanked by pilots. Yeah, it's a good like card. by wingmen. I do like that card a lot. But yeah, I don't. It's really good when you got pilots. The, the chances of you rolling out Emphasis hitting two, three, four. I was considering. Uh, and them having the pickings. Possibility in of putting Poe into a, uh, a Mercury greater Trader than like and one then projecting it. So. It's fun. fun Seems kind of silly, stuff. though. Okay. That was kind of a longer game. I played uh, Darth Maul last week, so all my games were super short. All right, well, good luck in the, the rest last three rounds. Yeah, you too. People having leaky mics in Discord again. Yeah, Emphis is a fun character, and she actually has really good sides. Um, it's hard to get her point cost. She doesn't have a lot of good partners is her biggest downfall, but she's not bad. Yeah, Q the three and O in the I'm submarining it. And three and two. Um, yeah. I think this deck is better than what I've showed. Like, God, that game kind of just went real weird. Um, started out so strong to struggle so much uh, when his board wasn't even great. Uh, but it's just the power of, like, you know, I've, I played my Luke Fenn and the flank my wingmen and eject are so freaking good. And, uh, you know, they, I, they really probably th in that game... You know, it's it, they they they're a small part player, or they seem like a small part player, but they were probably a big reason why he won uh, that match and was able to hold on until he could just you know get some big swings in. Because um, without those, without that that basically free health increasing. There, especially oh, also Cloud Car. Props for Cloud Car. That's a card that I've still been trying to find a card or a deck that I really like it in. But it's so good. Yeah, you know, eject and two times flanks for, you know, eight more health for zero resource cost, uh, particularly when you eject your cloud car is real, real rough. Like, <laughs> math-wise, it's real rough. Um, yeah, I do like cloud car. Yeah, yeah, there was the Jawa cloud car. There's the, the clown car deck that Norman's have been pushing. I haven't quite found a cloud card deck that I really, really like, though, but I really like the card. It's just hard to figure out what to do with it. Uh. 
I saw that Armstrong Matt asked about the nerf on Trandos coming. Uh, one way or another, I have a feeling a nerf on Trandos is coming. I know we're supposed to at least get a couple more official FFG rules releases, uh, but obviously that's super up in the air. Like we, we, I knew at least we were supposed to have an RRG update before Worlds. That didn't happen, and we didn't have Worlds. And then you know there would be an RRG update with wild horizons obviously to you know we always have a new update with a new set explain new rules exp you know put in some new faqs card clarifications that kind of thing um and any one of those could touch balance and i would highly expect trandos is on that list to get hit possibly droids is on that his get you know, on the list to get hit um Face the enemy is definitely probably something that's on the list to get hit. Those are like the big things I think right now that I, I think are getting looked at. Now, if FFG is done with Destiny, like we will do player committee, you know, balance update. And I expect we'd be looking to hit the same things. Um, I have no idea exactly what the nerf should be. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're consolidating all of their, like, official responses through the FFG Organized Play Facebook page and account and the FFG Organized Play Twitter account. So, uh, yeah, hopefully they get updated a little more consistently than they used to be, because if it's the same as, you know, it has been, you know, don't expect up-to-date information. But, yeah, I don't I don't really know what happened there, you know, how that's working out. But it is quite weird because Matt was a saint. Oh my gosh, my camera went blurry. What the crap? Oh, there you go. You guys got to see my beautiful face. <clears throat> but yeah, I yeah, I have no idea what to... I imagine, you know, if we had a rules update that they would be announced on the FFG OP, uh, you know, channels. But no idea. Everything's up in flux with this whole quarantine covid thing so just gotta play it by ear the community uh you know if if if, if our commu uh, continuation committee takes it over obviously we'll uh we'll use all kinds of discord facebook every channel like people will hear about our rules reference update i gotta crack a window it's getting warm in here Well, the Emphis Ala experiment, off to an 0-2 start. I should have, I was really tempted to play the GOP again this week, my mill deck that I played net last week. Um, I just had made enough changes to it that I really liked to upgrade the deck that I kind of wanted to play it. Maybe I'll whip it out again next week. People get real annoyed if you play mill, like every week though, but... I had a lot of fun with that deck, and it showed a lot more promise than I thought. I definitely think that could be on the uh, docket to get whooped back out with some of the new changes. God, I'm yawning tonight. I'm getting tired. It's been a long week of work. Almost done. Did anybody get a chance to check out the article that was released for the set 11 through the continuation committee? I don't know, I'm talking to you guys. Not like a, you, you guys will answer in chat, but yeah, there's some fun stuff in there. Um, let me see if I can. 
throw in a show the screen here. This was an article that was released. Um, and one of the new key features of set 11 that's actually pretty cool is this detect mechanic. Um, it's basically kind of the theme. I think of set 11 has like a spy uh, sub theme. So like you think you're like your, you know, Cassian and your uh, uh, Jin, like, you know, rebel spies kind of thing. You got your Imperial spies, like think Garen Dan or, you know, something, you know, bringing up some obscure names or something along that lines. But, you know, there's, there's, there's pretty, uh, there's a lot of support for like, you know, a spy mechanic in destiny from the characters that have it. So basically this is what this detect, uh, mechanic is trying to, you know, emulate is, oh, I don't need to show that. Uh, I was trying to get back to make sure I was looking at the my stream chat. Okay. Um, and then where to lose this? But yeah, this detect, you know, after this card's activated, you reveal a random card from an opponent's hand that is not detected, and that card remains revealed until the end of the action phase. Yeah, both the spies. So many die. All these both the spies, they die. Send a bunch of both the spies to get me coffee. All dead. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So like detect is a mechanic. It's like a keyword, new keyword that a character can have. Like you activate the character, you get to reveal a card from your opponent's hand. And they basically have to play with that card revealed until the end of the activation phase. And that card's considered detected. Um, so the card's still part of their hand. You just get to see what it is. So it's kind of a way to like get some information on your opponent. But then they have like some counterplay. It's like, oh, well, if you found out that I had this, I can just play it and get rid of it. So, you know, you don't, you, you don't know that I have it anymore. And then I don't, yeah, they have some examples of some mechanics that work off detected cards, though. So like, you know, this mechanic, choose a detected card, then exchange it with the top card of its owner's deck. Uh, the new card's detected, so it'd be like, oh, I don't like that card that I saw. I'm just going to split it with a random card. Or if like one of your own cards gets detected, you know, that's kind of, doesn't matter which player does it, you could swap your own card with the top a card on the top of your deck or the next ability you know choose a detected card discard that card to deal indirect damage to that card's owner equal to its cost um again it's hard it's hard to play that kind of stuff because you detect it and they, you know they'll probably want to play it knowing that you're going to do something off detected cards but if they don't then you can follow up with like you know i'm going to discard your detected card and deal some damage to you um you know or this one that lets you get shield so there, there's a lot of fun ways where it's a mechanic that lets you see a little bit of your opponent's hand and keep it open as open information and then turn around and you know have some effects that key off those cards so i don't know i thought it was a really interesting mechanic to represent like that spy type uh you know re representing spying in the star wars universe like you get knowledge of their hand they still keep the card and then you get to do additional stuff with it so uh, I'm really excited. I've seen a lot more than what was shared here, and I'm just saying I'm excited about it. So maybe that's just my opinion, and who am I? Just some guy? I don't know. Whatever. But I like it. Um. <laughs> it's cards that I would be excited to play with, and that's important because I am better than everyone. I need more bourbon to fill up my glass. <coughs> I inhaled it. I remember my first drink of bourbon. <coughs> the hack up along. You're a man, a man with a plan. Hey, nemesis. Yeah, so yeah, like their first set, they're, you know, they're aiming for like 60-ish cards of like all types, you know. We're not going to be able to put out, you know, or the continuation committee as a whole is not going to be able to put out, you know, sets like FFG did with, you know, 150-ish cards because everybody that's working on it, this isn't their day job. Like, this is purely a passion project. Um, God, we got to get some more Porgs in the game for sure. Um Mandalorian characters are ripe. We need to see some Mandalorian characters in the game. That kind of fun stuff. There's all kinds of things that haven't made it into Destiny. Like nothing in Episode 9. Regardless of however trashy that movie might have been. But nothing is in there. 
<clears throat> we need to have the super, like, we need to have the 60 point Palpatine that you can't even put in a deck to, like, you know, the super scion version of Palpatine. I don't even know. I don't even know what you'd do with that character at that point. Literally, you freaking lightnings a whole fleet out of the sky. Come on now. <laughs> Minox Swarm. <laughs> Careful, Zeus. You're going to play into my Minox fetish. Mm -mm. Force Typhoon. But yeah, no, there's. Like, yeah, no, nothing from, like, uh, Fallen Jedi, you know, there's there's tons of untapped potential that we haven't seen from FFG, and maybe some of this stuff is in Wild Horizons, I can't confirm or deny <laughs> what's in Wild Horizons, but there's no, uh, yeah, there's still plenty of, and there's more Star Wars stuff coming out, like, you can have a whole new season of Mandalorian here in October, Kenobi series is coming up like yeah I definitely think there's some strong stuff that could come out of the players committee whether you know other players jump on board and get excited about it, it's a whole other thing so we'll see cautiously optimistic that's um I think it I, I definitely think we'll see books cartoons and stuff from the players committee like the, the the people that we're getting to apply for like designers and getting as lead designers i mean they're you're you know they're your classic star wars fans we, there's people you know maybe they some of them focus more on the movies but like i think for the most part like you know you're probably an uber star wars nerd if you're going to be doing <laughs> making a uh, fan made expansion to an obscure card game you probably are very familiar with books cartoons etc cetera, etc cetera. so yeah i don't think anything's off limits into what uh people can grab so i haven't i don't even know if a designer's asked about even like legends material but yeah we'll, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it so Oh, round three is up. Who am I playing? Table 12 against Coach Bear Dog. I like Coach Bear Dog. He's a bro. Let's get in here. What up? You got a table? Why can't I hear? I can't hear you for some reason. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm probably muted. Oh, there you go. Hey, I, I know your stream. I just didn't know if you had a table up. Uh, I can open one. I can open one, too. It doesn't matter. I got one already open, so go ahead and join it. Yep. Wilrow Hood. Which Wilrow Hood was the guy that, that had the Camtano, right? From uh, Cloud City? If I'm remembering correctly. Wasn't that the name of that guy? Or am I thinking of someone else? I was supposed to go to Celebration last year. Yeah, ice cream. I was supposed to go to Celebration last year on uh, FFG's Dime, and then I ended up getting, like, horrible flu, like, literally the day before, and had to cancel it, cancel my flight, all that fun stuff. But apparently, what, I'm, what I've heard, every year at, or, you know, every time they run the Star Wars Celebration, because it's not always every year, they have a running of the Wilrow Hoods, where just a bunch of people cosplay as him with their ice cream makers, and they run through the con, and nothing sounds more epic to me than doing that 
sounds like the most amazing fucking thing that you could do with your life. Um, this is a really weird hand. Because uh, I like this stuff to fish out things. But the fist in the hand is kind of wasted. Because if I go this route, I'm not going to be able to play it the first turn. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'd really love... I, would, I probably would have gone to Celebration this year if it didn't get cancelled and Destiny didn't get cancelled and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah. God, what do I do? Do I keep the fist or not? It seems foolish to throw it. <sighs> no, I think I gotta throw it. I'm gonna go the other route see how it goes. I might pay for it. But I can't go both routes. It's like either throw the jumps and the things. Five. Wow, my roll sucks. <laughs> that was not a good roll. At least you're not having to play by fax tonight. I can't believe that last night. I was watching. <laughs> yeah, it Incredible. Was... It was both incredibly bad and incredibly epic. <laughs> I just love like reading the messages from his opponent telling you what to do for him before he could directly communicate. Yeah, yeah it was a thing. <laughs> uh... Yeah, just do that out of the gate. That's cool. Ooh, little ball. I'll take the two on infants. <laughs> no! <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, I'll put two more. Two indirect, special, and one melee. I'll uh, guardian the two indirect. Uh, okay. Um, what is he doing? Well, that was a dumb play. <laughs> uh, five in them all? Yep. Uh, no ability to play. It's a, If I did that too fast, it's basically you resolve the special to put the holocron on the bottom of your deck, then you draw yep. three cards, and then you can play an ability at minus one. Gotcha. I, I figured... Uh... Uh, one to all. Yep. Uh, I kind of want to keep all these. Yeah, I'll just pass.
keep my whole hand. Yep. <clears throat> that was a pretty good first round for me. Eight damage to four. Uh, well, six technically. So I came out slightly ahead on damage. He's got more health than I do, I th think. Yeah, it's closer than you think. Um, we got ready to make some fucking money. If he doesn't remove one of those dies, reap the one uh, melee to two resource. Power action, get four money. Let me do it. Let me do it. I'll you son of a bitch. One. could pickings but if I pickings he gets to well actually no I guess I could have if I have no dice to remove that's sad yeah I actually thought I, I, I forgot that that removed dice. I'm like, I know that does something, but I should have I could have just picking this last turn. But that ended up being fine regardless. Yeah, I was like, oh what do I get to Oh, there's nothing left. Uh it's a good roll. Get some fire out here. Two them all. Yep. Mm. That's good. Um, you got to. Back to the heel, too. So much training. Mm. 
That's the mall we know. Two shields for him. Oh, yep. <laughs> that mall did Good not Lord. like you. Bro, you have no idea how bad the rolls have been tonight. Yeah, that roll isn't much better, but... I have some dice fixing, actually. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You haven't discarded a Sheehan, but you probably got one in your hand. Oh, I wish. <laughs> that's not a tell. Ugh. I mean, if God. I had one, I probably could have angled to get it out last turn. That's how bad this is. <laughs> They're shy. Mm. Well, that's a roll. Finally. Uh, but yeah, I get to do this fun stuff. Uh, two damage to Maul. <laughs> yep. So I'm, I'll tap this yeah. for the resource. <laughs> Do you want me to remove the discard side? No, but you, you get your choice first, technically. <laughs> but yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. God. Pass. I just cannot get those Sheehan's for nothing. Nailed it. Oh, pfft. needed something. Your odds were four out of five, so they're decent. Yeah. Uh, she's. You get five up. I'm showing four. Oh, he still has his lightsaber mastery. What's he got? Uh, pushing? I'm guessing pushing slash? No, repost. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to turn it sideways. I keep missing. Uh, the two. Yeah, I'll do two to them all. Still don't have a Sheehan. <laughs> That's brutal. Uh, what's hidden motive for sticks? No, it's not indirect. Uh... What's hidden motive that one for sticks? Yep. To not eat any better. Nope. Uh, this isn't an ability. This is just straight an upgrade, right? Yeah, it's not an ability. So you get nothing. 
Two in them all. Yep. Yeah, I played that very dumb. Yeah, you could have got at least one die resolve. I know. Of course, he rolls well. Yeah, so well. Yeah, never mind. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> uh, so yeah, one to one to Maul, and then one to the executioner. Uh, let's put it on Ayla. Yep. Yep. Enter scoop phase. Never seen so much money in my life. Yep, there we go. Hat trick. Oh, there you go. I, I can't even finish him off. <laughs> <laughs> Something that's not blank. Nope. <laughs> oh, four. Jesus. Uh, just to punish you for that DM that you couldn't play anyway. I <laughs> know, uh, yeah. Well, at this point, it's. Oh, I can't no you, you can't, re can't remove the three. That's two or less. Oh, just kill me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will. It's just going to take me a couple more actions or another action. See if you hit blank again. If I hit five in a row, I want the win. Oh, <laughs> there we go. So yeah, truce resolve. There it is. <laughs> take it. Just take it. Just take just it. Take it. <laughs> That should have been the blue card. I, I was, my villain cards were two fists. I could have played Forsaken's. Yeah, yeah, that's good. This is it has not performed. Yeah, that did not. That game did not go well for you, and that was my best game of the night. So <laughs> I, I don't know what what says more. Is it uh, your deck is that bad, or my deck is decent? I'm gonna go with your deck. Probably not that great. Oh yeah, I mean the whole plan is keep them all alive until I can get three upgrades and then just heal them and then eventually get Sorosu training she and Master and Maul Saber, but it never never got close. Yeah, my first two matchups were against like heavy support vehicle decks, and I'm they're like I, yeah, I caught a little bit of a couple of yours because I've lost three times that quickly, so I've just been watching yeah. your stream. So now I have nothing to watch for the next twenty minutes. So I guess I'll have a beer. Yeah. But yeah, those ones are like, oh, do you have DM? It's like, no, I have Fist, but I wish I had DM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fist. Well, uh, well, you're running Hero, so it doesn't matter. Well, the, just the, the two villain cards. Yeah, yeah. Just I could have I could have ran two DMs instead of Fist. Like that's the thing. But like Fist feels more impactful, and I have a lot of money generation. It's just not worked out too well. Oh, you could do Delve. You can't delve fist, no, but oh, you're running, straight. you're running blue. I was thinking delve mega blasters for your two, but you're not running red. No, I, I've been. I think this deck is like okay. Like it's not a world beater, but like yeah, the, the first two matchups just were not playing to my strengths. No, my uh, my early goal is to 
hopefully get it binds to cheapen everything up. And then if I can get the torment on the pike, which I'm going to guardian stuff anyways, it's like free real estate. Oh yeah. Just yeah. way too situational on everything, but yeah. I do like Torment Pike though. That's a fun combo. Yeah, Torment Pike, or or if, like they're slow playing and they don't want to roll out because they know I'll guardian their best die. Then I did one time when Maul was in trouble. I dangerous maneuvered to trigger the Torment on the Pike. That's also fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As you can see, I didn't struggle for money. I just struggled for quality gameplay. Yeah, I was expecting. I was like thinking uh, he's gonna drop a fist or something. Nope, nothing came down. <sighs> nothing, nothing. Yeah, I don't even know what the next five. Nothing exciting, probably. A sh yeah. Nope. Crap. Yeah, I think the biggest problem with my deck is I didn't include enough uh, actual dice that like did more damage. I've got the trainings, the the two trainings, the two masteries, and the two fists, and then I have two force jumps and two uh, Jedi holocrons. So like overall, like I can't build up a dangerous board, and I think it's biting right. me. Holocron is nice when you're fishing for that mastery, though. Yeah, I kind of like. I, it's probably not good, but it felt like a fun deck to try to play it in and see if it's good. Like it's got a lot of money sides on it. It's got a focus side, and then it's got that special, which is like pay one, draw three, maybe get a discount on like you know a future thing. Yeah, I. I'm, I haven't. This is the first time I've ever played this, but it's it's fun if you have to. If you're getting, if you get like a Shein discarded, at least you can pull it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get to pull anything, but it's it seemed like a quality card for zero cost. If you happen to get one of your favorites discarded, or you had to reroll or something. Yeah, that's a fun little tutor of the discard. My problem is, though, I said uh, my last two games, I haven't seen my Sheehan Masteries until like the bottom half of my deck, which has been really bad. Right. <laughs> that card's so good. I feel like it rolls the three sticks or the special way off more often. Than, it, there's like no bad side. You you roll a two resource out when you play it, and you feel like you won the lottery. It's like okay, well, I could finance something else before I activate. Yeah, no, I, I do like she and Master. I don't know if I like the training so much, but I kind of wanted to play them both together. But I don't. I honestly don't know what I'd put in instead of the training, though. That's the hard question. Right. I saw your uh, was it, I saw your first or your last matchup against the Hellfire Droids. Who'd you play first? Oh, I played uh, Iceberg, who's running some oh, yeah. Droid AR thing. Yeah. 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 I caught the tail end of that, I guess. I saw the I saw more of your your second game, because well, like I said, once once I lost, I was like, well, I know you're streaming. I'll just see what what other people are playing since yeah. this is going quickly. The the lack of threats broke me in the first game because I had the fist and the money to play it, and then he discarded it off of like a two discard on his Falcon with C three PO pumping into three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about nine. Oh, we're done, and I did a yeah, lot of. I, uh, er, er, yeah, I got it. Yeah, but yeah, no, I like I done a lot of damage that game, but like the, it slowed me down so much. And, and Enfys like got stuck on blanks or like unresolvable side the first two rounds. Right. But I don't know, that matchup I was like, yeah, it's droids. I'm probably not gonna win that matchup anyway, even if it's not like the top tier droid list. It's still droids. Yeah. I, yeah. This is. I have. I know you. You. Most people are not bringing tier one stuff, so it's just a good Thursday night to have some alcohol and see if you can try to break a card that people are ignoring. Yeah, I'm too drunk to play all the triggers and droids. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. No, I watched your. Uh, I watched last night, obviously. Then I watched uh, it was a couple days ago when you had the the droids mirror matchup. That was a pretty fun stream. Yeah, that the was, beacon and uh, somebody reflex from hyperloops. Yeah, no, that was a good stream. That was from the uh, top eight of the invitational, I think, or top sixteen yeah. of the invitation. I don't even remember what it was. I'm in. I'm in your boat. If you can, get, they both like that game three where they both got the round one kill. I I'm in your camp. Take out chopper. Turn off easy pickings. Your life's a lot easier. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't convince me that it was right to go after C3PO, and he went after C3PO first in game one and game three. 
And lost both those games. And lost both those games. Yeah, I mean, it's just one. You, it's a dead. You you've taken one of the best mitigation cards in the game and just turned it dead. I don't know why you don't want that. Yeah, and it's chopper to be like, especially with refinery, and then chopper's power action, and then easy pickings. I'm like, it's easily chopper's the card to kill now in droids. Yeah, like uh, that game. The end of game three, you made a good point. He had a C3PO with nothing, and and Reflex had a fully loaded chopper. Like that's yep. that's one sided at that point. Yeah, and that's basically exactly it. You'd rather have the character with damage dice at the end. Uh, <laughs> and you basically gave it to him, so... Yeah. Well, you, are you, uh, you th- Saturday is the next round that you're commentating? I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't... No, oh, Saturday, is that the next round that you are yeah. streaming for that? I think Saturday Saturday night, Lanza is playing Eric Wainwright uh, for the Invitational. I think it's a top eight match. It's Raylo versus Palp? Uh, yes, I believe that's what they're playing. Nice. All right, well, I'll tune in. Hopefully it will be uh, as quality as two nights ago and not last night. Yeah. I'm kind of scared with Eric again. I'm like, God, your internet better be working, man. <laughs> Food the hamsters, man. Get those wheels spinning. I know you're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but come on. They got to yeah. have internet out there somewhere that's reliable. I've been there. They, they do. I, I guess it's dependent on whether or not there's a tornado coming through. But yeah, that should be fun. All right, I'm going to go take a break. I'll be back. Yep. Take it easy, man. All right, I think we got, I don't know, five minutes left in the round, probably from when Mufisto popped in. So I'm going to go drain it, and I will be right back for round four. Mike off.
mic on. All right, I'm back, assholes. I mean, loyal viewers. Let's see what they're talking about in general chat today. What up, you bastards? Well, you know, just debating whether I want to drop or not. playing tonight that's not doing too well. <laughs> oh, that bad, huh? Go call time on these. <laughs> Dan. Yeah. Um, I gave them a couple extra minutes because of their um. Which which game? Uh, table thirteen squirrel. Okay, so they have what two minutes left? Yeah, I gave them an extra five minutes. Okay. Right. And I'll, then, go, I'll, I'll go in there. That's and fine. You go tell them because yeah, I. I was giving them warnings on the regular timers to tell them I was wrong and tell them if I'm and I'll go tell them Quiet night tonight. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop. I don't really have a motivation to play when I'm not uh, able to win anything. Oh, no. Mephisto. Mephisto has been moofisted. <laughs> <laughs> now I can practice being bad at Runeterra instead of bad at Destiny. I haven't even tried Runeterra yet. I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> Is it what? Uh, Runeterra? It's great. I know. I've heard good things, but I don't want to be sucked into another game. So it's better just to abstain. Even my brother, who doesn't like collectible card games, is in love with And he's like Iron 2 or something, but he thinks he's, you know, <laughs> playing good. So let's go.
Yeah, I definitely much rather prefer to play in person. I mean, I tried the Hearthstone, like, a bit. I played Hearthstone a lot when it first came out. That's, like, probably the biggest digital card game that's existed and still exists. And, yeah, I mean, it was all right. I... I had fun with it. Like, probably the stuff that turned me off of Hearthstone more had to do with the stuff they put in the game than necessarily it was digital. But, like, I don't know. Like, I like having that face-to-face, you know, meet up with friends, get out of the house. It's good for your mental health to get out of the house, you know, on a regular basis and actually meet people. And even if you're talking with people online like I'm doing here, like, right, I don't know. So Lanza went on time, and then we're just waiting on the game that got the extension. Having the Twitch stream, like, I think helps me a little bit, like, you know, have a little bit of, you know, more interaction and having, uh, you know, people to talk to, you know, it helps the chats, but I don't know, like, Hearthstone, like, practically, like, forbids interaction, at least in the game, so, other than their, you know, not emoticons, but, like, whatever you can pick, like, your character has a preset thing, so... Yeah, it's it really your opponent might as well be a bot. It could be a really smart bot, but might as well be a bot. Like there's no interaction there. Um, I haven't played Arena. I wouldn't be surprised if it's similar, but but yeah, no, I I prefer getting out of I, one. I want to get out of my house. Like that's my bigger draw. You know, get me to a game store. Get me to a big event. You know, get me away from my screen. And I, I don't know, it doesn't help me, like, my day job. I'm a software developer. So I'm in front of screens all day anyway. Like, I, not, I don't want to, like, I still play video games, but, like, I need an outlet that's not in front of my screen. Really. And, I mean, like, the TTS now and stuff, like, I used it mostly for playtesting before, but, like, quarantine this is my only outlet at all for anything out of that i don't have the option of going to the store so or game store so if i don't have that like i'm taking what i can get now He, uh, <laughs> you came in and said nine minutes left. And as soon as you said nine minutes left, he put like five shields on Yoda. I was like, oh God. <laughs> but the kids were already dead at that point. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> I pulse cannon one of them. And then I, um, I falling avalanche the other one. You bastard. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do with this deck was play Falling Avalanche for free, and I got to do it once. So, yeah, I'm just you know, Falling I'm Avalanche for do what? If your other character had damage suds. <laughs> uh, when you get uh, a death fill or mastery or whatever, you get there. Just imagining Palpatine putting these power moves on children. <laughs> is, is that really even necessary <laughs> see this is typical me this is what happens is i i get this i get this idea in my head that i want to put a pulse cannon on palp or i want to play falling avalanche for free and then i build a deck around it and then it turns to shit <laughs> but if i get to do one of those two things i'm happy and right now i'm oh, my off. I spent a whole week trying to get um, Mike on Crime Lord to work. See, I I actually considered that card. I was going to Crime Lord Watto, but I thought that was too cute. Well, correct because you can't Crime Lord Palp. Well, yeah, but <laughs> anyone else think Crime Lord should be a title and not in the? Yes, but it'd almost be broken. I think. Yeah, I think if they made it into a title, that would break it. <laughs> It can it still be better, yellow but... only. Yeah, but you can. You are in command, though. Yeah. Exactly. 
And you are so a then it's not your only yellow yet. only. It goes around the restriction, so... You gotta dedicate another deck slot to make it... Hmm. Who'd I play earlier that had a cool deck? Uh, oh, One Love is running a... Uh, he's running Tickle Me Jabba with Palp, and um, he was... Uh, he had ancient magics in there, and I mean, he had it like I think he took me out round two, like with like fifteen indirect or something crazy. It was cool. Nick yeah. the bug. Do what? Is it Nick the bug plan? No, it was one love. Oh. Uh, yeah, Nick it was solid, loved, man. Nick the bug loves that day. Yeah, he had uh, Java did more damage than Pelp. That no, game. Oh, there's no, <laughs> doubt. there's no doubt. It's a cool deck, though, when you lay out that many one-cost uh, abilities with specials, and then they topped it off with a Force Storm, Same which was disconnecting nice. Apparently there's a TTS patch or something, is what someone said. So, you know, Steam here goes... Steam. Yeah, here, oh, it's Steam. Hey, Platform, I got something I'm going to show you. Hold on a minute. Oh, that boy. That I found we it. have children <laughs> in this channel. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a picture of it. <laughs> I found it in my drawer. Hold on. Whoa! You found it in your drawer? This isn't getting better. I mean, you, can, you keep your dildos to yourself. Not. Oh, come on. <laughs> now you're going to feel bad when I show it to you. <laughs> Does anybody else have a problem where you can't hold your phone camera far enough away to get it all in one shot? <laughs> 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 I put mine on landscape. It's just me. Yeah. There you go, platform. Nice That's for you, baby. Calvin Junior's Fleer, nineteen eighty-two. Yep. 83. No, that's eighty. That's, that's eighty-three. Four. That's eighty-four. I that's Randy eight Johnson. Hold on, like, is that a Randy Johnson in the middle there? That's Randy. Randy. Oh, yeah, Randy. Is that Expos? That's yeah, Montreal. Really, the only cards I have left are uh, I've got a. I got four cards in a in a display. Let me look at who they are. Though. I love this Cal Ripken. These three up. cards I found in a box. They're in mint condition. They're nineteen. All right, they'll be reporting here in just a second. Do you know who won? Nineteen eighty football cards, apparently. So it's Walter Payton, James Lofton, and Tony Dorsett. And then Ooh. I got a nineteen eighty four tops Don Mattingly in there. Nice. Not sure always. That I actually pulled out of a pack from a guy I got off the ice cream truck that day. I love that 84 Mattingly. That's a good looking Sweet. card. It's a great looking card. Anyway, That's so the 85 oh, Mattingly right there. The rest of my collection is gone. I, I, I paid for a semester of college with my football cards years ago. Nice. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, I was, uh, I'd was i walk up to the circle or the 7 Eleven over on Old Shell Road down the street from South Alabama and, uh, I would buy. I'd buy whatever tops football I can get. It was the '86 oh. tops football with all the Jerry Rice rookies and the Andre Reed. That's what I had. Uh, that, that's paid. cool and all, but can you Dude, shut up so I can ask what, who won the last game? That's what paid for my college. Jerry that's Rice's rookie squirrel. Did you win your last game? I think the mushroom, 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 mushroom one. Set. Okay, mushroom one. All right, all right new old show. Anyone else yeah. dropping last call? Last call. All right, new parent. Old Shell Road. I haven't heard that in a long time. That was Steve Young rookies too. Those uh, those Tampa Bay Buccaneer cards. Yeah, man. Right, new yeah, pairings are up. Pedro, I'm telling you, that top set was worth a ton. Yep, yeah, was good. All right, round four is up. Good luck. <clears throat> Struggle behind. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> oh, Lanza, huh. you got me. All right, buddy. Go easy on me. You got a room, or do you want to get? Do you want me to get one? You go ahead and you get one. I got it. I'll... All right. Game four. All the way down to table 12 versus... Who was I playing? Woodshed. Oh, what did I just do? I got a room up. Oh, my no-no dice roller. Oh, why did I do that? Just... 
I'm gonna play with nothing but a dice roller. Now let's go. Away. Hey, what's up? What's going? Good. Oh, no. Non push to talk people. Apologize in advance. here. Easy peasy is good in that. Uh, I think I want to push. That's not as good with the lack of damage side, so I'm going to push to get the, well, I guess she isn't, but at least it gives me some damage. Five. Two. Uh, let's see. Both of his guys are leaders, so he gets full use out of, uh, yeah, we'll go with mine. Alright, I'm going to start with Emphasis Alex. resource. I don't think... sides on those dice, sadly. This is a real question. Like, what do you go after? I think I can wait, because he's going to try to get into more specials. He's not going to resolve that for one. So let's put three damage into him there. Still the bigger threat. Shield side. Um, two 
two damage. I just want to direct. Uh, truce. And then I'll claim. Um, yeah. <clears throat> had enough money deck I could use a little bit of that money actually uh... Interesting. Um, take my pile of money. Could probably, hopefully, get an easy pickings here. Can't do anything to his four storm. So that's a real question for him. If he turns anything else to damage, I can do something about it. He's probably gonna go. Go to smash. I mean, that special is just to remove a character die, which I'm gonna resolve it immediately, so I don't really care. Uh. Three to pop. So that's still two damage because he removed this. Uh, that is turn a die to any side. No. And he could turn one of my dice if he reveals a blue card. So it's kind of giving him a mitigation. Uh, 
Oh, wrong one. Let's click your shield, sorry. Um, do I do this now? Uh, So I don't really want to use... we'll do the two damage. Yeah, I don't want to do the easy pickings, because, uh... uh... Yeah. And then I'll deal the blue card. So I'll put that on the... This front side. I'll resolve it. I could have pickings there, but it feels better to save it for, uh, more impactful sites. Uh, three and direct. I'll claim. Four and direct. Yes. <clears throat> what is he? He's got four now, so he's at 14. So mm -hmm. nine away still. He's eight away. 17 total. Those binds are just really binding my ass. Uh, yeah. Get another thing out. <coughs> Bakta's fine, I think. Heals to zero. Still hasn't removed a die, so he's looking at one, like one damage. He gets to roll that back out. I'll do this first. Get the pickings here. A hundred percent. Uh, he has to remove a character die, but yeah, that didn't go well for him. But he can still special chain. Yeah, let's just uh, do that. <clears throat> trying to 
to massively cut down the amount of damage he can actually deal. Uh, yeah, he's in a weird spot. So, like, he could special chain to remove, do two. Get two shields, yeah. Make some progress this turn. And then I'm coming back and hoping my... It was your action, right? Oh, I passed. Oh, I must not have saw it, sorry. Uh, healthy options. All right, cool. We'll remove the A list special. Cool. Um, make your resolve all the rest of his dice here for once. We'll do the two damage to her. Let's turn this, and then I'll show you a blue card, so blank, blank one. Um, I'll use that now. That's it. Two indirect. He was, he was angling to roll the forest storm back out. Um, that's what he's thinking about. Um, he's got a lot of options. Nope. Three to palp. Pass. Put blank that resource. Three to pop. Fifteen or seven away. Uh, two to pop.
What a handful of dead cards. Um, <laughs> but I've got Palp 2 away. Three away. Gotta get this bitch out. That's an okay roll. Three, two, two. He heals five, but that doesn't save him. Or no, it does save him. Um, five to palp. For me, um, uh, fifty percent damage side, Zayla. Need you hit three damage. <laughs> You son of a bitch. Specials. There we go. So what? Uh, let me think. So he can. He hasn't removed any dice. Uh, so that's just one. He can go one into one. Is two. He could action cheat. But I think. Smarter play is this for me to pitch, reroll all these, try to get into damage, which I miss. Six and direct. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're both three away. Um, Take the very long way around of throwing, showing lethal when he has ways to deal with it. <sighs> I mean, well, he's got at least... That can only turn an upgrade side. So he can do this to turn one of my dice to blank. So I'll think that. Uh, it's upgrade oh, dice it's only. A, not an upgrade die. Yeah. That's the only upgrade die right now. Yeah. Uh... And then I'll reveal the blue card, and you can blank one of those Ayla dice. Oh, 
Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. All right. Just fuck. This is so fucking stupid. I just have to say. So fucking stupid. Um. We're gonna do that! <laughs> uh, gotta love dice games. Gotta love them. Thank you, Fist, for doing so your we'll do job. One. Yep. And... and we'll do the one. skin in my ass and I'm looking at with use of 12 health one so 8 health for my 4 currently <laughs> you can get there oh my god <laughs> doesn't do any damage uh, two to Java Two. Oh, I'll, I guess you can still do that, but yeah, what, up to you. I'm not. Don't worry about it. So I roll that. Just gonna claim. Three and pass. <clears throat> three versus three. Cut back up. You guys are still putting there's like six minutes left. Okay. Fluid or pass is useless. Loth cat, I don't have tempo for. So luckily he didn't roll like a god. Got some pass to victory. I rolled eight damage. That pretty much does it. I'm gonna wait that. Two. Good game. And two. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good game. Yeah, I was close. I was only three. What, I'm three damage away when I finish you off? Yeah. Doesn't get a whole lot closer. Yeah. Yeah, actually, didn't. if you would have hit on that rollout, I don't think I could have stopped you because that only removal I had I only was needed that. To hit. <laughs> but even if you removed one, I would have been good with the three damage. Yeah, you, you on tempo, I literally couldn't remove anything. So if you would have hit, like, special, special, it would have been game over. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Or hell, there's, well, like, two of the... Not even two... One special game. on the thing and one special on Jabba would at least kill the character. But yeah, good game. Good game. Oop, not help menu. Ugh. My bad rolls tonight. Jeez. Trying to get that damage to finish off Pal, but luckily I got away with the win. But that was like pulling teeth, man. Fought my way back up to two and two. One more round. I wonder if my tiebreakers are any good. Oh, I better report my results. Hold on. And yeah, that took most of the round, so we're only a few minutes away from our final round here. Uh... All right, I already know what deck I'm going to play next week. I have to build it still, but I've got a good idea. Me too, Viking. Game. Oh, never mind. I just saw it. You did. Okay. Oh, God, my hey, tiebreakers are garbage. <laughs> I'm gonna have to practice it against you, but got a I think I'm gonna, eight. What the hell? I think I already know what deck I'm gonna run. I made it today, and I was playing some people with it, and I was like, "Man, I should play this." <laughs> and so, so I'm doing next week. What you got? What you got? In it's uh, <sighs> yeah, something it's new. But Iceberg, I lost you. He's know. two and two. I don't know. I'll probably end up changing my mind by then. You don't want to disclose your secret. <laughs> You didn't disclose yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what was it? Iceberg, who beat me round one, is a two and two after four rounds. And then round two, I lost to Adam. And he is... Where is he after? He's already reported for this round. <laughs> Yeah, Adam's also two and two. So the the two people that beat me went are at the same record as me now. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> and then I beat last round. I beat uh, Coach Bear Dog. Uh, this round he won. Yay, he's bringing up my tiebreakers. But that one will bring him up to one and three. <laughs> so. Uh, my opponents are 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 one, three, one, three. To Give me some real bad tiebreakers. Uh -huh. So yeah, even if I pull out the win to 3-2, I probably will not make the prize cut with my breakers. They are not going to be good enough. Hey, don't jinx me, Zeus. I haven't played that last round yet. <laughs> And my deck has been trying to lose as hard as it can. We'll see what happens. Team's a leader. It's fine. So team's a leader. Okay. Okay. Well, this guy hasn't even attacked yet. I'm so dead. <laughs> No, I'll probably I'll probably run with my uh, my trio I did at Worlds the uh, Jingo, Grievous and uh, 
what's that messenger i hadn't tried it since, yeah. since the new set came out it's been a long time and i don't know there's a yeah. lot of good stuff that came out so big supports are good I mean, especially face the enemy. Like, that would have definitely been in my world's deck had it existed. Oh, yeah. But I usually play villain. It wasn't until this Ray Luke, and I kept winning. Uh, of course, I don't win in these tournaments. Everybody's too good, I guess. Yeah, but, yeah that's what I mean. Yeah, it's like, it's crazy. Like, I'll, I'll crush people all week and hop in this tournament and go two and three. It's like, okay. Well, the thing is, you're not, you're good. And I play you, and me and you play competitive, but like. Yeah, I think you're pretty good too, but maybe neither of us are good in. Get a room, guys. Come on. Is... What the fuck? So go blow each other on your own time. <laughs> 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 that must be short. He, he's angry tonight. That was Gandor. Oh, that's, that's Gandor. Oh, oh, it was. It's definitely Gandor. <laughs> I'm coming to your place and working the dicks out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you got me. You got me going. Well, I'll, I'll try to deliver yeah. Zeus with that great. Uh... Yeah, let's do a 40 40 infinite offense. Yeah. 40-40 infinite. So who's going to pay me to TO that one? I don't play. Why oh, wouldn't you play? Okay. I'll, I'll pay you. I'll pay you $5. Why <laughs> oh, wouldn't you play, Dan? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't really feel like being creative right now. with. The... I guess mm. I could just break out the old Mothron deck. But... Mephisto's already deck. proven all he needs to prove in the 40-40 arena. <laughs> I got a pretty hacks uh, forty forty infinite island. I uh, I'm, I got uh, droids with Maz. <laughs> Han droids with Maz. It's pretty nasty. Man, if I got forty points, to Turkey, play with, who won I, your game? I'm using old Daka. I lost. All right, so we're just oh. waiting on Squirrel and. One of our buddies is, is keeps running old Daka and old old Phasma to get the guardian. Yep, yep. Oh. I got that deck built with. I use Wado in mine. Yeah, it's it like, seems Daka, pretty good. That it's that second die that costs five that makes her so hard to pair up. But if it was a forty forty, I imagine you can make a pretty wicked deck. Funny, yeah, not it's, straight in the it's middle. Really, it's really annoying to play against because they just like gobble up all your. How many Jawas can I fit in that deck? <laughs> no, wait. Well, if it's, if it's infinite 4040 Highlander, you get one. 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 Two. one. There's two Jawas? That are That's legal. true. That's true. Oh, you yeah. can't, you can't double up the character either? Not if it's Highlander. Not, not, no. not the non unique. Oh. Yeah, not the, the non unique. I didn't characters. know. It, I thought that was just the cards. I didn't know that was characters. Dang. Yeah, I mean, you can run elites, but yeah, you can't run multiple non unique characters. You can run Claudite. Claudite's basically a Jawa. Yeah. So you get two Jawas, a Claudite. <laughs> it doesn't work with your teeny. Yeah. You it, can, does. Well, it does. It does, it does I guess. Yeah, that's true. After you activate it, yeah. Yeah, you activate them, and then you hope your other two Jawas are alive, and you hope you draw your <laughs> one Utini, your one copy of Utini. Mill their three cards out of 40, right? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Easy. Hey, so what's the idea with Highlanders that you can't make a consistent deck? Is that, I mean, is that what they're trying to keep you from doing? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much, because Infinite is a playground of broken toys. Yeah. All right, all right. Before they, uh, <laughs> before they made the ban list, there was a lot of fun with uh, doing just uh, all the uh, all the neutral characters and running Han Kira and just hyperspacing away. Uh. Hyperspace yeah. jump, retreats, all that. Bl oh yeah, you you would do you sit there and I think you would usually get. Well, if you did uh, before they did the ban list on on infinite, 
I played a game of Infinite that I swear, I think I went five rounds without my opponent actually doing any action. Are you talking about that unofficial ban list? Yeah. No, you're, you're talking about the uh, Planetary Uprising? Yep. That was, that was nasty. Yep. Why does Lance yeah. just sit in the channel by himself and type to us? It's <laughs> <laughs> how he, he, just, how he, he does his antisocial behavior. He's still a little sore <laughs> from my, his loss. Give, give him some time. He is so <laughs> distancing <laughs> still, Dan. Still <laughs> right. All right. Is anyone? Hey, really he quick. Prefers- is anyone? Is anyone dropping before I pair the last round? Lanza said he was going to if no one else did, so there was no buy. Alright, All right, then I'll drop Lanza. And nobody cried. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last pairings are up. Time's up at 39. <clears throat> Me versus the Turkey Club. Table six. Ooh. What up? All right, Game Dork. What do we got? <laughs> do you, you have, have a room? I don't have a room. Do you want me to set one up? Yeah, go ahead. All right, it's going. I've been. Yeah, and Vesela, as you can tell, is doing great tonight. I snatched defeat from the jaws of victory last game. I was so far ahead. I was so far ahead. And then, like, two death fields dropped in the same round. And I... Single die. And he's going mill. Can I even pick this deck? I don't know if I can. Uh, let me get rid of that because I need a. What I need is cards I can play. Oh my god. I pitched a one of and got the same one back. One. Uh, we're going mine. Good call. <clears throat> All right. How are we going to finish this, this one? All right. Oof. I can make all the money and watch everything I can spend it on get milled off the top and go to the discard pile. So much cash. I'm rich. Round one fist. Round one fist, huh?
So two off the top, and then one of my choices. Top, top two, yeah. You look mad. Let me just look at your hand and see what I'm going to have to do. Pickens, Pickens, and... Yeah, all this money and nothing to spend it on. We could spend it on easy pick. Uh, two to Dooku. <laughs> no more pickings. Two indirect. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get enough damage going to actually win this match. Claim. It's always a bad call. Resource. All my opponents always hit on it, though. But it's generally not something you should do. I knew I was going to lose that either way. Cards to play. That's just to turn repost on for damage because he actually can roll damage sides. You want to roll? You're right. <laughs> I mean, that didn't that didn't help. Um, I mean, you don't have to. Uh, Probably should have left. Come on, Emphis! My Emphis has been garbage! Giant pile of hot garbage! Oh my god. It's like I can fix one of her dice. Well, you don't have any more reap, but you still have the power action. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, let me think here. <clears throat> Some melee. Uh, three to Dooku.
Uh, okay, that's not what those are on. Um, no, this is on a two for four. On. <laughs> yeah, that. You get nothing but focus. That's all right. We can. We can. I'm on a pass. I'll pass. I'll still pass. I'll claim. No, you're not going to like me. No answer. Yeah, it is what it is. And flip the battlefield. I hate my emphasis more for not being able to roll damage sides. Oh, she rolled damage. <laughs> uh, she did roll one damage side. I had to focus the other one. My Watto power actioned it and still rolled damage. So it rolled. Yeah. You've got to have a fist in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Figured as much. Right. We, <laughs> yeah, we don't want to see it. God, I know if I activate Dooku, you, I'm just going to roll melee and you're going to get max value out of that die. Uh, we'll do the wolf, uh, power, oh, I'm sorry, Grand Moth power action. Second time I've seen this card tonight. Changing gear. Now we'll use Wolf's PA. Let's see what you got. <clears throat> I think I got what a truce on there. I don't know. I don't remember what I got in there. Mm, this is a tough one. Merchant freighter or truce. I think Merchant Freighter's got to go. Uh, there's damage sides. Well, there you go. I mean, okay, you can probably I'm got some. <laughs> at odds. Uh, two to wolf. <laughs> Look at that. If I flee, he can basically claim for two. He gets two. He gets him one more of them from my hand. If I truce, at least one of those is useless. And I get a money out of it. I want a truce. Two to wolf. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's way ahead. Not a whole lot left off the cards he can get that I actually care about. See, I knew it'd roll. Discard sides don't help. <clears throat> All right, what are we going to do about this? He can go hunting for more money. goes for a little bit of it. It's interesting pitching the merchant that basically is the same as the money. <sighs> Tell you every time. Never works for me. We'll get two more. Mathematically it's terrible for you to do that, but it always works for your opponent. Do I need this Xi'an training to even push enough damage to win? I don't. All right. That's the hard part. Um, I know there was a Jedi Hawk. What does that even do? <laughs> it draws cards and goes to buy my deck. I don't like the idea of you putting anything at the bottom of your deck. Get the three and a two. Do I get my other Sheen in here? Probably not, because that'd be too convenient. I have nothing in there. No, it is in there. It's like a dead wolf. So it does give me a die back, which is fun. Five cards, no. I mean, at minimum, you're getting a Watto, right? Because that's only two. I guess I can't. If I Sheehan for the other Sheehan, I got to overwrite that Sheehan. So the sequencing is real funky. Suppose I just do this while I can. There's the other fit. Yeah, let's do that. He has a second. Yeah, he's got any number of these. It's gonna make me pitch cards. From your hand and top the remainder of your deck. Uh, two to Dooku. And I'll pitch it to basically replay this out to roll it back out. Got it. I'm going to play cocky. Get rid of these two. Damn cocky! <laughs> I 
That's a big roll. Sadly, think, it puts me too short. Enough. Yeah, I don't think you got enough. Uh, any way for you to get stuff back out there? I don't think there is. So I guess I... <laughs> yeah, put you at seven on Watto. Cool. Yeah, I know I lose. It's close, though. Ugh, it was close. Like, DMing that fist. I, I only play one DM, and I drew it the turn you drew fist. So it was just this. Yeah, like literally 50-50 on this damage side, maybe? <laughs> like, But, uh, yeah, 50-50. It is 50-50. Yeah, one and three on either of these. It was the difference between me winning and losing. Yeah. It, bad rolls. Yeah, it's my, part of the game. My dice have been betraying me all night. But, like, Emphis came on strong at the end, though, so i got to give her props for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was rolling big melee. All, all right. Well, good tournament. Uh, we'll try again next week. <laughs> yeah, have a good one. You too. All right, guys. <laughs> Emphis Ayla, two and three. I think very easily could have been three and two. Maybe four and two with a little bit more luck, or sorry, four and one with a little bit more luck, but is what it is. Uh, thanks for the nine people I got watching now. I'm not gonna stick. Around. I'm not gonna like place up in the in the money slots or even top ten of the two and three finish. I'm not gonna stick around. I'm gonna head off to bed. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, some plugs. Saturday night I will be streaming Lanza versus Eric Wainwright. W i w w t. I don't know what that stands for. Uh, but they're playing for the Artificery uh, TTS Invitational Top 8. So I'll be streaming and commenta commentating on that. So keep an eye out. I'll throw it up on the various social media sites, discords, whatever. When that goes live on Saturday evening, uh, I'll be doing this uh, again next Thursday night. Every Thursday night I'm doing this. If you want to join, go join the Entourage Gaming Discord. Look up Entourage Gaming on Facebook. Uh, ping Lanza. <laughs> um you know, ask him to join. We have a cap of 32 players. We got to 30 this week, so there's still room for even a couple more and, like, you know, people coming in and out. So there's definitely, if you, if you want to get in on this Thursday night gaming, you know, you're more than welcome to join us. Give us a shot. Obviously, people aren't going too hardcore. You saw some of the decks I played today, so, and what I was playing. So, yeah, it's just a real good, casual, fun time. Uh, later in the month, uh, May 28th, that Friday, I will be, was it, is this point? Yeah, it should be 28th. Uh, I'll be doing late night gaming again. So tune into late night gaming on Friday, May 28th. Uh, if you want to hang out with me drinking and playing a bunch of decks with poem and platform and beacon and loopy and God, I'm probably forgetting someone, but all those, all those fun late night gaming people. Yeah. It's always a good time, uh, on a Friday night, but yeah. Thanks for joining in, and I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a good one.